Example 1.7. In this example, a jet aircraft flies at a speed of 550 miles per hour at an altitude of 35,000 feet. At this location, the temperature is negative 66 Fahrenheit and the specific heat ratio is equal to 1.4. We need to determine the ratio of the speed of the aircraft to the total speed of the sound, C. This is known as the Mach number. In order to calculate the speed of sound, we're going to use the equation for the air, which is an ideal gas. It's going to be K R T. Please note that because it's an ideal gas, the value of the temperature has to be in absolute value. The value of C is going to be equal to K, which is equal to 1.4. The value of R, which is given to be 1716 feet pounds per logs Rankine, and the value of the temperature is going to be negative 66 plus 460 Rankines. If we calculate this value of C, it is going to give us 973 feet per second. Now we calculate the ratio, but before we do that we need to make sure that the velocities are both in the same units. The velocity that we have is currently in meter in miles per hour, so we're going to transfer this into the proper unit. We know that one hour has 3600 seconds. We also know that one mile has 5280 feet. If we multiply this out, notice that mile cancels with mile and hour cancels with hour. We notice that this value is going to be 807 feet per second. If we now do this ratio of the velocity divided by the speed of sound, we and we called it, it's going to be known as the Mach number, this value is going to be 807 feet per second divided by 973 feet per second. And this is going to be equal to 0.829. Notice that the Mach number is a non-dimensional number. Therefore, the value and the units of the velocities must be exactly the same. Please go back and make sure that you are able to get similar results to the ones obtained here.